before I say anything, I want to say thank you all for the support right now. Ever since what's going on with my main channel right now, that's why I'm not using my main channel for a bit. That's why I'm using a second channel. But the good thing is, thank you so much for the support right now. So, the good thing is, I'm going to try to get my main channel back one day. When I get back, all the videos will be uploaded to the main channel. The same thing to this. Okay? Alright. Can't believe this episode, man. This episode, I mean... I, I have nothing to say after seeing this episode. If you haven't seen this episode, you farewell and see it for yourself then. And by the way, your theory was correct, by the way, by Niles. And I was right as well. So everyone, we have a new arc ahead of us, and oh my god! We are about to enter an arc that is not just Zero's backstory, but will probably even compete with how dark the Genesis arc was. Welcome to the SMG4 Revelation Sphere. We have a lot to I'm not going to really say anything about this as of what happened this episode, so. So, first see what you're going to say. I want to say, holy crap! We, uh, we were right on, like, all of these college arc theories. Both Niall's theories that I made were correct. Both Godlock did, theories were correct, and surprisingly enough, the Guardian theory of all things was correct as well. So it looks like Niles is actually a SG hero, and not only that, has been completely controlling Melanie after what she did during the climax of the Genesis arc. And it looks like Niles is after the God Box. Now, here's an interesting take for everyone. It looks like the Box Club and Niles aren't working together. More or less, Niles is definitely pulling the strings here, because without him, the Box Club would not have been able to succeed in their goals. But the Box Club is after their own agenda here. There seems to be some kind of misconception about the God Box. One rumor is that it grants unlimited power, and the other is that it would cause chaos and destroy the entire world. The Box Club seems to be after just unlimited power, probably from reading about the God Box from some old book or something and they got really invested into it. However, the true intentions of the God Box is that it brings chaos onto the world, and since Zero is after it, I think it's more likely to bring chaos in the world in order to kill off Mario. We also understood why Niles was a bully to Melanie in the first place, and why he wanted to train her deity powers. It's because Niles wants Melanie to get stronger and open up the portal to the Great Beyond, and the reason he was bullying her was because he was Zero all along. The Great Beyond was also revealed in this episode, and it looks like we're gonna get Mario in real life 3. And, it, uh, my Guardian theory called all the shots here, and oh my god, I am extremely proud of that, you have no idea. Idea. As I said before, the real life SMG4 is here, manipulating everything and everyone behind the scenes. Now for the predictions regarding this arc. The first prediction I have is who exactly is going to die. Come on, it's bound to happen. Every dark arc has it, and this one is probably going to have it as well. My prediction on who is going to die is probably SMG3. For one, was because we know Niles has a personal vendetta against SMG3, and if Niles was in control of Melanie during this scene... Oh yeah, that was It looks like he wants to kill SMG3 for some reason. And that reason is because of what he did during War of the Fat Italians 2021. Melanie was the one who stopped Zero at the end of Bobby 2021, but she never could have done it without SMG4 and 3 converting Mean Energy into Mario. That's why Niles wants to kill SMG3. If he gets rid of one Guardian, they won't be able to link hands together, and they won't be able to stop Zero like they did before. However, I think it's a little too early to be calling shots here as to who is going to die. I would like a little bit more context clues before jumping to conclusions. However, one thing I can sort of jump to a conclusion to is that just because we're getting a new movie on April 2nd, I think we're going to get a new episode next weekend as well. If you look at the Revelations yeah. Arc playlist, there's a private video already uploaded there that takes place after this episode. So, that's cool, but hey, thanks for watching and check out my SMG4 Guardian Theory. I tell you this, man. You were correct. Every single field that I just react to, some of my main channel, some of my second channel, you were correct. And I'm really proud for that. Good job, man. Now, I'm afraid about Melody who's gonna die. I don't want Melody to die. But if you say SMG3, well, I don't really care about SMG3 that much, in my opinion. But, um, well, I used to like him sometimes, but, um, 
I have pains with SMG3, so you already know why. And, um, yeah, I am so very aware of what's going to happen, because I, I don't know how um, this is going to go, or what, or how, how, how next episode's going to go. It's going to be dark like the same thing. Now I got to wait the whole other week to find out what's happening. Now I want you all to leave your comments down below and tell us what is your thoughts. If you haven't seen my reaction on your second channel, you farewell. You definitely farewell. You did good for your fairies, man. You did good. Proud of you that you are right and you are correct the whole freaking time.